Hello, thanks very much for joining me again. Today I'm going to tie you a little suspender nymph for the rivers. So in the vise you see a Hanak H333 barbless hook and this is at size 10 for demonstration purposes and it's a fine wire hook. The thread I'm going to be using today is the UTC um, in black and I've already got that on this bobbin. That's why I showed you um, as a, a single entity rather than trying to explain what I've got on here. So first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of wax to my thread just to get me started. And I'm going to start about two millimeters back from the eye of the hook. Now I want to put a layer of thread down approximately two eighths of an inch long and then I can remove my rat's tail then what I want to do is come back to about the center of them wraps so as you can see I've made a wraps to about two eighths of an inch and I brought my thread back to the center there so next I'm going to add the wing which is a uh, some CDC. Today I'm using the Troutline Super Select CDC. Uh, this is the, sorry, Ultra Select CDC. And this is the natural grey. Uh, it comes with 50 plumes in the packet uh, and they're absolutely a joy to work with. There's no sorting through or anything. So I've, I've picked out three plumes from the packet and I've stacked them together. So as you can see, uh, really good quality CDC here. And what I want to do is align the tips up as best I can. But I'm not going to overly worry about any excess because I can trim that uh, when I finish the fly. So what I've got is approximately three quarters of an inch protruding from my thumb and forefinger of my left hand. I'm going to bring that down and with a pinching loop over, I'm going to catch that in and then just two or three turns to secure it into place. Now what you need to make sure is that you've left ample room at the front here because uh, it will bite you in the backside later on. Okay, next I'm going to come in with my longer snips and I want to take these at a real angle down the shank of the hook because what I want to produce is a nice taper to the body. So now that I've got that in, I can come down and hopefully the CDC will do all the hard work for me and produce a really nice taper there. So I'm fairly pleased with that. Now the body of this fly, what I'm using is uh, is this stuff. It's, it's moose mane. And uh, I don't know how well you can see it there, but there's lots of different um, colours in amongst the moose mane. And that's what creates the segmented body for me. So I've already picked out the fibres I'd like to use. Just bear with me while I get them into my hand. And as you can see, they're various colours. So what I want to do is marry them up to get them... To the, the colour sort of scheme I'm looking for. Scheme. Sound like a designer. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, you know, you'll pick out contrasting colours to achieve different things. So I'm going to take these tips away. Now, I'm going to do it down here because I want to save these. They make really great sedge horns. So I like to keep the ends. And once I've done that, I can come in at the bottom and just catch that in. Now what you can probably see as I'm winding this up is that my UTC thread is nice and flattened out. Now if it's not doing that for you while you're tying, simply drop your bobbin down and I'll show you in a sec once I've got up to here and uh, just let it spin out itself or give it a little encouragement. Just turn it anti-clockwise and that'll um, flatten out for you, no bother at all. Okay, 
I'd like to tell you that um, this stuff's easy to work with and it's certainly easier than a lot of materials that I've used in the past. But just getting it started can be a bit of a trial. So just bear with me. My fingers might get in the way a bit and already I can see it's starting to not do what I want it to do. So I'm just going to use my nail to support it at the back end here. And once you've got a couple of turns in with this, it's as good as gold. Uh, it's fairly robust, so you can be quite um, firm with it. And as you can see, as I'm starting to wrap up here, it makes a really interesting uh, body for the fly. And this will limit any number of terrestrials that are hatching off. Just bear with me while I get it to the, the top here. And again, just at the top there, it's trying to misbehave, but I'm being quite firm with it to get it into place. And I'm going to come over and capture that down with two or three turns. Then I'm going to move the my waist out of the way and just put a couple of turns in at the back of it. I can then come up and remove my waist. So as you can see already, it, it's got a fantastic bob body and I, I can really, I could leave this be as it is. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinforce that body with a little bit of UV resin. Now the stuff I'm using, you can't see it particularly well. Um, again, this, this resin's from Troutline and it's the, the Perdigon um, resin. So used for them little beaded flies that you often see. But I prefer using this over the Solaris for dry fly bodies because it's very thin and it doesn't add any weight to the fly, but does give it a lovely finish. So I'll just make sure. Now normally I would just turn my vise, but I don't want it to go out of focus. So I'm just going to persevere. Like this doesn't take much a little droplet there you've seen how much I used on the needle uh, and then I can simply come in with my UV pen and cure that off and same below And on your side. And the jobs are good. In. Okay, next, what I want to do is add some little legs. Now, I've already prepared a feather for this, as you can see here. And basically, all that is, is uh, a feather from an old partridge cape that I've got here. And I've trimmed it down to that. Now, I'm going to show you how I've done it. So... Here's, here's the feather here. You don't want any of this, this fluffy bit. So I'm going to remove both sides of that. But you do want... Sorry, bear with me. You do want to keep the stalk because that will help you out later on. So I'm just going to remove a few more bits of the waste at the bottom. So I've got that now. Then next, very carefully... You need to come in, it's difficult for me to do this on camera, but I'm catching the center stem. And as you can see, I've cut that away now. So what I've got is the V shape. Then I can simply test and adjust. Like so, to get my legs. So I can take them away now. And before I do anything else, I'm going to help myself by adding a little bit of wax. It just helps grip the materials better. Then I can come in with my V 
and that will do me lengthwise I think excuse my fingers then I'm going to get one two wraps over to hold it into place have a look yep I'm happy enough with that so I'm going to bend my feather backwards now and just capture that in so it's not going to go anywhere then I can trim the waist away like so okie dokie so it's looking pretty good so far well I think it does you might think different next I'm going to add some dubbing and the dubbing I'm going to use here is from Nature Spirit it's Hairs Mask Dubbing and this is the Golden Brown now a little tip here um, I used to just take all the dubbing out of the packets and and stick them in little boxes but the trouble with doing videos people want to know what materials you're using so what I've started to do now is cut the corner off uh, the packets and then I can just take out the dubbing from the ends uh, and so you can still see but it's, it's just a tidy way of doing it so I'll take a little bit of dubbing in my fingers you don't need much uh, it's lovely stuff to work with this dubs on no problem at all and then what I want to do is get a few turns in at the back here I'm just going to tighten it up a bit because what I want to do next is lift all my wing back and bring in a few turns at the front and bring my thread to the front of the, the eye of the hook, like so. Just got a wee erroneous fiber there I'll get rid of. Now, as ever, to finish off, I'm gonna put some UV resin on my thread. Make sure everything's behind, and then you can build A nice little thread at the front there and the smarty pants amongst you will be reaching for your whip finishing tool at this point and I'll just put a couple of half hitches in and before I um, remove the thread I'm just going to cure that resin off and then I can remove my thread Okay, so that's looking not too bad. I'm fairly happy with that. The only thing I would say is the post, if you like, the wing, it's a little bit too long for me. So I'm going to come in and what I want my wing to be is a little over a centimetre. So I've caught that in there. And with these little curved, curved snips, it just makes it... Um, look quite natural the way it's finished so there we go nearly there now last thing is uh, with my dubbing brush I'm just going to tease out very gently a few of the fibers and there we go Bob's your uncle I hope that was of some use to some of you uh, you might see some materials there that you've not seen before uh, thanks very much for watching and please remember to subscribe. If you want to make them up, that's how to do it.